And when you first heard about the, the potential cuts that are coming to UWSP, what are kind of the first thoughts that you have? We'd like more data on this. We're certainly interested in hearing what the students have to say. And you obviously just took part in the listening session. What were kind of your, your biggest takeaways from what people had to say at that? My biggest takeaway is that there are a lot of students who are very, very unhappy about this and that there's going to need to be a lot of discussion before this proposal can be accurately voted on. And you know when more discussion will happen here and maybe on a legislative level? I do not. I know that student government is currently taking a lot of steps like the program that we just had here today to get student input. And you said uh, at the end of that, that there's going to be people actually going to Governor Walker's office. What's going to be done there? Not, not to Governor off oh. Walker's office necessarily. We're going down to legislative offices at the Capitol. We go every year to lobby on issues important to the student body. And I'm guessing that this year, this is going to be one of them. And do you have any idea where this issue is going to go from here, just at a student level at UWSP? I do not. That's up to the students and specifically the student senate. What's next now that this meeting is over? So I heard from a lot of students, community members, alumni, faculty and staff on campus today. And I've been hearing from people since this proposal was released. Now, I understand that these budget cuts have contributed to the four and a half million dollar budget deficit on campus. And I've always been opposed to budget cuts for the university system. That's why I voted against the budgets that did cut the budget. But the reality is there is a budget deficit. So we have to either find a new proposal that works and is more equitable and fair to everyone on campus or we need to get the state legislature to recommit to new funding immediately. So what I will be doing is, and I've already spoken with students, um, faculty, staff, and university administration about this, is pushing for a much stronger budget and educating legislators earlier about how adversely these budget cuts have affected um, the UW Stevens Point and our, our campus community. So we serve an entire region of people and that's what we heard from today. This won't just affect UWSP, it'll affect students at UW Marathon County and UW Marshfield Wood County due to the restructuring that's taking place. So those two campuses will be officially part of UWSP starting in July. So I would like to ask, and I've already requested this of the UWSP administration for an alternative budget proposal, and I know that other people are working on that as well. If these budget cuts have to be done, they need to be done fairly. They shouldn't adversely target one group of students over another. And in this case, the humanities and social science sciences are on the chopping block. At the same time that we're hearing from employers from all over the state that they need people who can adapt, work together, communicate, collaborate, and be flexible individuals who can think independently. And we need to make sure that we reinvest in our higher education system. So I'm a member of the budget committee. In this past budget, I did author a proposal and introduce a proposal to invest in our university system, and it failed. So we need to build public support for investing in our higher education system, and we need to have a better budget. But in the meantime, what will UWSP do with this four and a half million dollar structural deficit? Can we have a different proposal that is more fair? I think so, and I think the talent in the room, there are a lot of people with different skill sets. When we put our minds to work, we may be able to come up, with, come up with a more fair, more equitable budget proposal, and that's what I'd like to ask the administration to reconsider. Could they scrap this proposal? Could they at least walk it back? Do they understand that th this could possibly affect enrollment in a negative way? Um, and I, I would hope that they'd be interested in having that conversation. I did speak with them for two hours yesterday and I will continue to have those conversations with them because I am very concerned about the future sustainability of our university here and the community at large if these budget cuts were to go through as planned. What would you say your biggest takeaway takeaway was from the comments that you heard? People are very concerned and they're not just concerned about themselves. I heard from people tonight who were speaking on behalf of the university who were majors who were not going to get cut and who were faculty who were not going to get cut. They were majors in math and College of Natural Resources and they said the same things that the liberal arts and humanities and social sciences yeah. students said. They believe that the value of a university degree is vested in or comes from that comprehensive education where you're learning the arts, the humanities, social sciences, and natural resources, and water resources, and physics, and math. And that's what's really important. That's the value of the four-year degree, not just to people locally, but also to employers in the workforce pipeline. And so I think because so many people agree on this issue, I do hope that the administration could reconsider this proposal and that we could develop an alternative proposal 
bringing in buy-in. One of the things that a lot of people mentioned tonight is they didn't believe that this was transparent and that there could have been greater communication. Well, if there's anything that we learned tonight, it's that more people want to be a part of that conversation. And I have confidence that if we work together soliciting feedback from everyone involved and affected by these cuts in the community, um, we would have a better proposal. So I think that that's the next step is what can we do to advance an alternative. Were you surprised that Bernie Patterson wasn't at the event? Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure if he would come or not, but I do know that um, Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m., they're going to be having a campus community conversation to talk about these budget cuts, and I'll be there too, so I'm hopeful that people will ask them good questions. Anything else to add on? I want to encourage everyone to make their voices heard. If they have any concerns, questions, please feel free to reach out to me. The reason why I'm involved in this is because state funding comes from the state legislature. So we need every legislator in the state to recognize and understand what is happening here at UW-Stevens Point has also happened at UW-Superior. How many more campuses will this happen to if we don't invest in our UW system? So that's why I'll continue to author and champion proposals to reinvest in our university system because it is important to our communities. It it is about not only workforce development and retention, but also um, developing awareness uh, around us and building a better community.